Hey everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips, and in this video we are talking about how to integrate your Dropbox with the Dolphin File Manager in KDE. So as you can see right now, I have it uh, set up already, but uh, I've disabled it, so I just need to restart my setup, and now it's disabled, because we're going to be going over how to get it going from scratch. So it's really easy, and it starts off by opening up a terminal window, and once you do that, you need to install the Dolphin Tools package. Now we're going to go to packages.org really quick and I will show you the package that you need for other distributions. It's Dolphin Plugins, my bad, not Dolphin Tools. So this here, you can see it's available for Arch, Debian, Fedora, Mandriva, Magia, FreeBSD, OpenSUSE, Ubuntu, Slackwire, PC Linux OS, and Rosa. Alright, so it's the same package for every system. So return to your terminal. I can install it with sudo pacman s dolphin plugins. Now, once the package installs, you're going to want to close dolphin, reopen it, and then you're going to go to control, configure dolphin and then services. Now under services you're going to look for the Dropbox button service. I don't know why I said button. Dropbox service and check the button next to the Dropbox service and then click OK. Then close your file manager, open it up again and if you're logged into Dropbox you should start to see integrations with your file manager. So if you want to say let's say move this file here to Dropbox, I can go ahead and do that and it will instantly start syncing and we see the syncing icon is on it. I can also share stuff on Dropbox if I want to get a Dropbox, links, Dropbox link of Windows 10 or High Sierra, I can do that. And uh, I can also view the comments version history and all of that. So pretty cool. This is something I highly recommend if you're somebody who uses Dropbox as much as I do on the Linux desktop and you use KDE definitely something to check out. Please check the link in the description as always as we go over how to get this going in even more detail than I did in this video. Anyways guys, I will see you in the next one.